In this video, we'll look at the top 11 new features in Reunion 11. This is a major upgrade to our flagship family tree software for the Mac. Please check our website for a complete list of new features. Or, if you already have Reunion 11, click the Help menu and choose New Features. Altogether, there are more than 75 new features to explore. First, you'll notice a new Islands sidebar. Islands are groups of people linked to each other but not linked to other people in your family file. This feature finds these branches or fragments and shows how many people and generations are in each island. By clicking an island in the list, you'll see the names of everybody in the island. By switching to the tree view, you can see a graphic tree chart showing how the people in each island are connected together. Islands can be named for quick reference. For example, this island has two people, Thomas and Sally, so we'll name it Tom and Sally. In this example, Tom and Sally are a husband and wife on their own island, but we know that Tom is the son of Joe and Pauline Lawver, so we switch back to the people sidebar, find Joe and Pauline, and then drag and drop Tom, making him a child of Joe and Pauline. The island of Tom and Sally is gone. He and his spouse have been connected to the main branch of the family file. Synchronization with mobile devices has been completely revamped in Reunion 11. Reunion Touch is our new mobile app, and it's a universal app, meaning it works on all of Apple's devices. Changes made on your Mac appear almost instantly on your devices, and vice versa. Here we change a birthplace and crop a picture on the Mac. And then in seconds, the changes appear on our device. And vice versa. Here we add a birthplace on the device. And in seconds, the change appears on the Mac. There's no longer a need for manual syncing over Wi-Fi. Although it's always been easy to spot notes, pictures, and events for people in the family view, one of the most frequent requests we've heard was for a visual clue to see at a glance when a couple or family has any family notes, family pictures, or family events. In Reunion 11, icons appear in the marriage field, indicating if any multimedia, notes, or events are attached to the current couple or family. In this example, we can see that there are family pictures linked to this couple. Click the little icon and the media window will appear, showing the family pictures. Relationships in Reunion 11 are now identified on the fly as you add, link, or unlink people. No need to recalculate relationships. Harry is the son of the current source person. Here we add a child to Harry and his spouse, Vernie. The relationship of the child is instantly identified as the grandson. Click here to open the new thumbnails window for browsing images of people, families, and sources. This feature makes it easy to see all your pictures in one place. The convenient color-coded dividers show the name and dates for each person and family. In this example, we can use the search field to see pictures only for people named Astor. And here we show only the pictures linked to the relatives of Abraham Lincoln. Notice in this example how pictures are grouped by relationship. Single click to show a person in the family view. Double click to see a picture in the media window. And here we show only pictures linked to our source records. Single click to show the source window. Double click to show the full res original image file. Reunion 11 has a new book feature. This feature automatically generates a PDF book complete with custom cover pages, table of contents, a list of surnames, the body of the report, in this case a register report. Notice how text wraps around the pictures. Sources, a media section, Place index with page numbers, person index with page numbers, and a back cover page. Books have many options, including multiple columns, custom headers, footers, and fonts. Drag and drop graphics, 
For example, here we've dropped in one small picture of Lincoln, and we have the option to make it appear in the footer of every page in this section of the report. Here we've dropped in a graphic chart, and we're using another graphic for the background image. Books have live links everywhere. For example, click a section in the table of contents, or click a child's name, click a source citation, click a URL in the source. The new book feature provides another way to share all or part of your family file with others. Now we'll take a look at a few of the new source features in Reunion 11. There's a new option to show sources linked to the husband and wife of the current family. Click the Family button at the top of the Sources sidebar. Now we see just the sources cited for the current husband, wife, and family. The list shows which fields contain the source citations, the number of the source, and the type of source record. The sidebar is updated instantly as you navigate to different people and couples in your family file. This new feature makes it easy to see what information is sourced and what is not. In Reunion 11, you can drag and drop sources from one family file to another. For example, here we are dragging a source record from one family file and dropping it on the marriage field in the other family file. The source we dragged is automatically copied to the other family file, and the field we dropped it on gets a source citation. Another new feature is the ability to merge two sources by drag and drop. When you know the two sources are really the same, just drag one and drop it on the other. Here we drag source 80 and drop it on source 79, thereby merging the two sources. If you have lots of sources and you know that source number 77 is the same as source number 33, you can also merge sources by number. Reunion 11 supports your Mac's built-in camera or a USB-connected camera to take pictures from within Reunion. This feature makes it easy to get updated pictures of family members added directly to their records in Reunion. Open the media window, click the camera icon, take the picture, and save it, crop it if necessary, and there it is, inside the person's button. The nav bar on the left is collapsible. To make the reunion window as small as possible, you can show nothing but icons in the nav bar, and also hide the sidebar on the right. By making the reunion window smaller, it's easier to use reunion and other apps at the same time, especially on smaller screens. Here we are looking at a marriage license using our browser and family search. It's easy to drag and drop the web page address right onto the marriage field in Reunion, and we've cited the source of the marriage date. A new multi-level undo and redo in the Edit Person panel makes it easier to correct mistakes while entering information. For example, here we got real sloppy and made a typo in the Death Place and the Death Memo fields. By clicking Undo twice, both typos are corrected. The list window has a new instant report showing all the date feasibility warnings in your family file. It shows the name of the person and the feasibility warning, such as married before age 12, and includes a checkbox button if you want Reunion to ignore the warning for that person. This new feature makes it very easy to identify and correct mistakes throughout your family file. Once again, Please check our website for a complete list of new features. Or, if you already have Reunion 11, use the Help menu and choose New Features. We hope you enjoy using Reunion.